hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon african motives still working on engineering science and two so in this platform we shall be having a continuation which is uh, still working on the question paper which was written in august 2021 working uh, in this platform now on friction so we shall see how we're supposed to answer uh, this question which was on friction so if you're new guys you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Amazon African motives as we shall be working on engineering science and two uh, mathematics and two also uh, from the same channel here so what we're going to do is to quickly rush through the question uh, that we are given on friction from the question paper that we have here uh, the question it uh, a total of 10 marks as you can see this is a total of 10 marks but uh, or something that is there that is very very important that you're supposed to take a closer look at okay on 6.1 we're given that a trailer with a mass of 75 kgs is pulled up an incline which forms an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal the coefficient of friction is 0 0,4 calculate each of the following all right it is best to note the information okay we need the weight component parallel to the plane the minimum force required to pull uh, the trailer up the incline something like that all right so this is what you're going to do guys just have your sketch then quickly rush through uh, and answer the question it shows that you know what you're doing guys even the one that is marking your work uh oh we know that uh, you actually understand what you're doing so this is 75 kg which is the mass of the object and you're given an angle with the 40 degrees okay and the coefficient of friction we are given which is 0 0,4 so that's what you are given so this is a trailer which is pulled up the incline so which means there is an applied force here which is taken up the incline then definitely there is going to be a frictional force which is going to oppose because we are going up here then there's something that is going to oppose then we have uh, due to the gravitational which is mg and the perpendicular component in this case which is uh, fc or f perpendicular like that all right so in this case we want to calculate the weight component parallel to the incline so always this one is going to be fs which is w sin theta also from a formula sheet you can obtain this fs for the parallel component fc for the perpendicular component so you need this one w sine theta so that is what you are going to have on 6.11 all right since we said uh, this is uh, FS according to a formula sheet, guys. I'm used to write it like this, but now because I'm using this formula sheet now, let me just write according to how they wrote it. But we know that W is equivalent to mg, that is mass times gravitational acceleration, which is the mass of 75 times g 9,8 times sine the angle, which is angle of 40 degrees there. So which means another person can just use a calculator here guys isn't it yeah we can just use our calculator here so that you can obtain something like 472 comma 448 um that's eight and another eight again uh nine three second something like that okay don't worry about that just round off to three decimal places if you are um, like me so it's gonna be four four this one to change it to nine okay so this is our fs which is this is force guys so the force is measured in newtons all right so like i said you can write this as f parallel like this or you can just write fs or someone can even fy so you see so many ways guys of writing this depending with the textbook that you are using or the sources that you are using to revise but that's how that's what is that is what is required guys okay anyways what about the minimum force required to pull trailer up the incline what is that minimum force but we are supposed to pull up which means we're talking about f up to pull the trailer up the incline so you're talking about f up okay 
also from your formula sheet this is also given but the way they gave it now you might not understand how they they, 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 they wrote it but let me show you okay they it's given like this from your formula sheet this one which is ft it's the frictional plus or minus uh the parallel one which is fs remember fs is this one so you're going to subtract the ft which is uh, the frictional we are going to your frictional my plus or minus so when it is a plus it means it is going up when it is a minus it's going down so that's the tricky part there that you're supposed to understand so as for me i just write this as f up like this f up yeah i don't want stress you just write like this f up is equal to the frictional plus the parallel component which is that one that i used to write it like this for those who have been following my classes you know that that's how i always write this and i don't play right like that so we need to find uh this part here which is not even there this one we have already calculated which means someone has to work guys someone has to work to find the friction there what is going to be the frictional force we are given the coefficient of friction yes we know that from the coefficient of friction there's something interesting the coefficient of friction is equivalent to what to the frictional force over the weight which is actually the perpendicular this time this one is the perpendicular component not the the C, but the perpendicular one which is the one that i always write like this the perpendicular component so what does this mean actually fc we are given it from your formula sheet which is w cos theta now so that means from this formula i can just cross multiply one times friction which is, is equal to that's the equation of friction times as you can see guys that's the equation of friction times what times fc which is the perpendicular component not the parallel but the component and that is perpendicular so which means we have to calculate this from our w cos theta so that's another job guys for us let's calculate this s is that's w cos theta which is mg cos theta so we've got m g cos theta just like usual guys mg cos theta another story to do so the mass and everything is not going to change because already we have it guys so everything is not going to change just going to repeat like what we had here for fs so it's 75 times 9.8 yes it was 75 by 9.8 by cos theta which is cos of the angle which is cos 40 degrees all right so this is going to be cos 40 degrees definitely you must obtain a certain answer and what is that answer that you're talking about that you're supposed to obtain you are going to obtain something like 563 point uh, zero four two six something like that so you can round off to this five six three point zero four three which is in newton so this is going to be but still we haven't we haven't we haven't we haven't we haven't find this we have to find the frictional force now because it's the one that we need on this formula remember our formula guys don't freak out this is your formula all right so don't freak out guys just need to substitute on that formula so this is your frictional component now, this is frictional force now that you want to calculate which is the coefficient of friction and remember we got this uh, here coefficient of friction which is 0 0.4 so you're going to multiply the two 0 0.4 by fc which is the one that you calculated the horizontal all right which is going to be 563 i hope this is going to be clear zero four three like this now you can obtain uh, the required thing now that we want which is two two uh, it's interesting now two two five comma two one seven newton so this is not our answer but we want to use this to find the answer now uh, so that's why i'm saying it's it's now interesting because we are almost there so we just substitute now f up because the question is asking us to calculate f up so what is your f up f up is equal to frictional force which is the frictional force is there just write that as it is 225 comma 217 you can memorize this at once 217 plus the parallel component now always guys it's either 
you are subtracting the parallel component or you are adding the parallel component so that's the, that's the condition there is either you're adding or you're subtracting adding it's f up subtracting it's f down all right so this is f up that's why we have to add but where is this component now it's not here we calculated first in the first place so it's here this is our component here the parallel component that is one that you're going to add which is four seven two comma four four nine so adding these two our answer is going to be six seven six nine seven comma six 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 which is a newton so this is going to be f up so our f up is going to be 697,666 uh, there, which is measured in, in Newton. So that's how they ask these questions and how you're supposed to attempt such type of a question. Okay, the last question, which is on 6.2, so that you can obtain uh, 10 marks now. It was, um, calculate the absolute tech knot, guys. This is the absolute pressure at the bottom of a 5 meter deep dam full of water we need to calculate the absolute pressure okay on 6.2 how do you calculate the absolute pressure okay uh, that's a question someone is asking now let me just remove this okay this is 6.2 okay we know that absolute pressure absolute yes right absolute like this is equal to p gauge i'm just going to write like this plus pa that is the um, gauge pressure and the atmospheric pressure. And we know that the atmospheric pressure, you are given uh, this one, the atmospheric pressure, you are given here. Let me show you. Yeah. The atmospheric pressure is there. That's 101.3 kilopascals. Okay. So that is PA. So this one is already there. One. 0.1.3 take note these are kilo pascals all right so where are we going to have the gauge pressure because we are supposed to add so that we can op obtain the absolute pressure okay so we need the value of gauge pressure so the gauge pressure is the one that you are going to obtain from roger that's the gauge pressure which is equivalent to the density of water times the gravitational acceleration times the height which is below so the density of water we are also given but remember that this is a, a thousand guys this is what we have here the density of water which is a thousand kg per cubic meter okay so that's a thousand there one thousand multiplied by 9.8 multiply by the height is we are told that it's five meters so you're going to multiply by five so this is what you're going to have at the end 49,000 pascals but take note already the atmospheric pressure which is the pa is in kilopascals so we can convert this to kilopascals so that it can be easier for us to add uh, thousand remember represents kilo so it's going to be 49 kilopascals thousand that's a kilo so in place of this thousand we are going to have a kilo which is 49 kilo pascals so we are adding 49 kilo pascals to these ones kilo pascals so which means this can just be written as it is and we add, add the numbers together so adding the numbers together we are going to have one five zero comma three okay which is in kilo pascal so this is going to be our absolute pressure so the absolute pressure is equivalent to the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric uh, pressure which is the pa so the atmospheric pressure you are given the absolute pressure is the one that you are calculating uh, for by adding the two pressures then the gauge pressure is the one that you're going to obtain from uh, the formula of rho g h like this one so this is density uh, which is pronounced as so it's a rho but it's density rho don't density something like that okay so that's it guys uh working uh, from past papers uh, on engineering science and two so that's how they they can ask these questions uh, on friction and so forth so more questions to come and more revisions to come from Mason african motives uh, if you're new make sure that you become part of the family and don't forget guys to share our uh, videos 
and the link of the channel to your friends and your colleagues also so that they can have a benefit from what we are having or what we are learning from Mason African Motives till we meet again.